Good evening, folks. It is Friday, the 1st of December. We are looking at lows of minus 3 up to a high of 3 degrees, mostly sunny over in Normandy, France. God, really is the end of the month, huh? Or rather, I should say the end of the year. Holy shit, we are close. Yeah, it is, um... It is time for more Metal Gear Solid. I am like an hour late, but that's fine. Hello Pip, how you doing? Hello Chucks, I'm well thanks, how are you? Yeah, we're gonna finish off the video game. I couldn't figure out what else to play, and none of the other games that I thought about playing could install quick enough to be worth it. Oh, hang on, let me just make sure I'm not blowing out the microphone, one second. I changed my sound settings, oh, okay, it should be fine. It should be fine, yeah, that looks alright. Okay, cool. Um, I, I was messing with my sound settings earlier because I was in VR. Uh, Valve has released a new application on the Oculus Store that makes VR way smoother for Oculus users, and it's fantastic. The Oculus Quest. I always say Oculus. It's not technically Oculus anymore. It's owned by Facebook, or Meta now. So strictly speaking, why is that there? Strictly speaking, it should be, um, it should be Meta Quest. But we say Oculus, we know what I mean. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, I hope you are doing well. It's almost Christmas. Christmas, just a week away. Just a week away. Oh shit, I forgot to say where where the location for the weather was. It was Normandy, in case I didn't say that, because that's where the boss gave birth. Oh yeah, we've got Eva here. We've got to do this whole stealth segment. Isn't that fun? Snake, are you all right? I'm fine. Skip. All right, we gotta make sure we are actually all right, though. Sure. Snake. Cool, we are cool. And I gotta make sure we have the right camouflage. So if I recall correctly, um, there is a good route around that helps make this easy enough. Where's spirit camo for now? Sorry, I just like hiccuped real bad. But yes, the goal of today, because of course, every stream must have a good goal. That's how you write cool stories. Um, is to get to the boss and beat the game and win. And that's it. That is that is all it takes. I also really gotta hope that I do... Is she coming? That in the final encounter with Ocelot, I pick the correct gun. I don't actually know which one it is, and I don't know if it's randomized or not. Is Eva here? Eva. Can I, like, hold her hand? I probably can't. Come on, follow me. She can't use that gun because if she does, I'll get spotted. And if I get spotted, it's game over. Or rather, she probably won't use that gun unless we've already both been spotted, in which case I would have already failed. So that's cool. But yes, all we got to do is sneak through the areas and make sure the guards don't see us, which is easier said than done. Come on, Eva. I also got to make sure I'm wearing the right camouflage. I've spoken at length about how overpowered camouflage is, but we're going to see it in action again. Let's wear zombie camouflage. It looks cooler. I look like a voodoo skeleton. Eva, lie down. Eva, oh, it's fine. Whatever. There we go. Follow me. Oh, she can't crawl and follow me at the same time. That's cool. You know what? We should probably run. Come on, Eva. Come on, Eva. Before the, before the guards catch up. Quickly. Really quickly. Really quickly. Walk faster. God, I should just knock her out and drag her. She'll be faster that way. Is that abusive? That feels abusive. But it's true. I should also get rid of the unuseful weapons in my backpack that I don't need. Unuseful? Is that a word? Useless? Useless. That's the right word. How's everyone going today? I hope you are all doing well. Stop being tired. No! Oh shit, I need to feed her. Eva, 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 we need to go. Eva, we really need to go. Okay, hang on. Let's, let's feed her some food. Stuff it in her mouth. Uh, you can have this Russian ration. Um, this tastes like crap. Shh, it's okay. Um, Eat the goat. Hmm. 
Oh, she actually likes the goat more than the Russian ration. That's funny. Okay, we can go. We can go. We need to leave now. More faster, lady. Oh, he's coming. They they do be schmoovin' though. Let's go. Come follow the scary zombie man. It's all right. God, her stamina drains fast. Yeah, I know. We're just waiting. Come on, come on, this way. This way. There we go. Okay, easy. That first section took me a lot of travel. Took me a lot of travel. Took me a lot of tries the first time I did it. But now, now we're good. All we have to do is make sure we repeat that. So it should be dark enough that we should be able to just get carried with the spirit camera. Come on, follow us. There's a snake there. Maybe I should eat it. Hang on. We're going to fork the snake. Delicious. <laughs> that is such a silly mechanic, but I love it so much. We're gonna have to shoot some of these guards. We're already on caution, so there's not much risk in this. Normally you don't want to do this because it'll set them to caution when they're on a... Oh, come on! As I was saying, you don't normally want to shoot them too much because it'll set them to caution and they'll send out a search team. But they're already the search team and we're already on caution, so there's no point in worrying about it. I listened back to my voice the other day on recording, I didn't like it. You'd think that with all the streaming and stuff I would have gotten used to it by now, but nah. It never goes away. You think you sound different and then you listen to the recording and you realize you sound like ass. And your life is over from that point onwards. I'm glad that's like a boa constrictor and not a- Ooh, what's that man doing? What? And not like a venomous- oh come on. Okay. Um, before we reach the final boss fight, we need to reach the the slightly lesser boss fight of beating these guards. It's not like this is a difficult section, I just keep messing it up by not shooting the guards properly. In fact, I probably, uh, this upper area seems safer. Because it's elevated. And that means it's harder for them to have line of sight on me, but it seems to not be helping too much. I have 85% camo index. How am I still being spotted in all this? Where is he? There he is. Good night. What's that? Eva. Eva, follow me. Do not do that. Whatever you are doing. See, this is where I should have used the cool title of hiding in bushes. Now I actually get to do that. Oh, a frog! I think that's a frog. That's not venomous, right? That's a, like that's like a tree frog. That's good for us. Delicious. That's such a silly mechanic. The fork is the best weapon. I didn't strictly speaking need to do that, but I was worried that he would spot me if I didn't. My goal is to clear out every guard on the way. Though we don't have to worry about being spotted ever. Should be easy enough. Okay, I was really worried for a second again there that I'd forgotten to turn on my audio, but it was alright. Um, the good thing about wearing the spirit camo is they can't hear us approaching. The bad thing is that means that it is totally possible I will blunder onto an enemy without even noticing. It'll probably be fine though. There are guards down here. There's lots of them, actually. What's wrong? I need them all to fall over before I can move on. He's not even going to check it out. He's not even worried about his friend that just fell unconscious. Sure. I won't complain. Oh, he is upsettingly angled though. I think we're all right. Huh? Wait, I shot this guy. Where did he, did he die? God, if that counts as a death, I'm gonna be really disappointed. 
Why did he disappear? This is a tranquilizer pistol. It shouldn't have killed him. Now I'm really concerned. I think I made a save before I left, but... Can you worry about your stomach later? Jesus. Time and a place. Don't mind me. Alright, we made it. Be hungry later, get over here. I need you to boost me up. This is a very climbable wall, but I don't care. Boost me. That's my hand tracker not working. There we go. That didn't work at all, but... And? 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 And! It was November 1st. Then, oh, boss fight. Early in cutscene? 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 Boss fight. Uh Get CQC. Alright, this is a good start. We have already gotten CQC on her. I should make sure, however, that I am wearing the correct uniform for this. Which is to say, I want to be the sneaking suit so if I get shot, I don't die. Hey, wait! Did I miss the Fury's camo? I did! Huh. I beat him non lethally. I wonder how that happened. Why can't I change my camera view? Let's see what you're made of. Uh oh. Ow! That's not fair. She did a backflip. Nice. Ow! I forgot. I can't see you. See her. Stop shooting at me! Run quick. Damn it! I'm dead. Oh, that did damage. God damn! I forget how strong she is. First use the boss. Made of. Counted. You can kick her while she's on the ground. Alright, health damage done. <laughs> Here I come. Ow. No! We'll learn eventually. Stop shooting at me. You better run. Ow! Where are you? Hello. There you are. Here I come. CQC. Uh, excellent job. You can also shoot her, but I think kicking her in the face is a bit funnier. I forgot she's bulletproof. Okay. We're cool. We're calm. Hello? What's she doing? Where'd she go? Where are you hiding? I'm here. Oh shit. Brace yourself. Hey! That was not fair. I was trying to avoid her bullets and she went for the uh the spin kick move because she interpreted that as a threat. Ow! I screwed up. I'm dead. I've already screwed up the fight. Just kill me, honestly. Come get me. Here I come. Counted. Excellent. So if I shoot him with the Mosin, is that the most effective weapon? Uh oh. Oh wow! That was a cool spin. You're better than I remember. I'm learning. The boss becomes the boss. D -d -d. If I beat, if I beat her within like 50 minutes, I'm. It's gonna be a very short stream. I didn't plan for this, but I, I'll take it honestly if it happens. Hello. Really? 
I missed. Ow. Ow. Okay, I deserve that. I'm surprised that she didn't notice me. Oh, right. I'm wearing the spirit, spirit camo, so she can't hear me coming. That's actually really cool. We can, we can win this. I have faith in our abilities. Okay, two hits is the maximum. Get ready. No. Ah! Okay. You better run. Stop shooting at me. I wish the camera didn't fight me so hard. There's no free aim in this version. Like this, this particular fight, for whatever reason, has your camera locked. Which is very inconvenient if you're not facing her. But you want to be facing her, like I always do. She runs fast. I... I missed? What? I'm alive. I'm okay. How did that shot miss? Okay, the spirit camo is actually really good. What the hell? I wasn't expecting it to be this effective against her. I didn't realize that the ability to just run up to her freely would be this useful. Oh, yeah. All right, she's at about half health. I'm on about a third of my health. I am literally one, but she is like two hits. Oh god. No, I'm dead. Okay. Well, at least we've got the rhythm of the fight down. It's a two-hit kill. Sorry, not a two-hit kill. A three-hit kill. Two hits if you're very bad. Hello, Heavy Main. How are you? We're bullying an old woman. You already know what I'm gonna say. I don't wanna I don't wanna say it though. Brace yourself. Outplayed. You're better than I remember. Alright, we gotta do that another three times? Four times? And we'll be good. Wait, so if I sneak up on her, I can just seek you see her for free. Ow! Ah, oh, I screwed up. Oh. Alright, that if that's a two hit death. If I get hit again, I die. But yeah, coming to realize now the spirit camo is very, very useful in this fight. Outplayed. Nice. What? Okay, I got out outplayed. Say it, Pip, but I don't want to. I wish you could get three hits in. Like, there's enough time to do it, the game just won't let you. It gives her iframes for that. Run behind that tree. Your skills have improved. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing hide and seek. I guess that is what this is. See what you're made of. If I beat her this early, I'm not going to be happy. Hide and go pip, exactly. Pipaboo. Brace yourself. You're better than anything. Oh, this is it. This is it, isn't it? Oh, I'm out of bullets. Hang on a second. Uh, she's literally one, but so am I. It is a 1v1. A test of skill. 1v1 me on rust, mum. Oh, no, 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 no. She doesn't see it coming. Oh, my God. I got it. Boink. I won. I actually did win. And we got the snake uniform. 
I actually did miss the fire uniform. I don't know how. I'm certain I beat him without killing him. So I don't know where it went. It just disappeared, I suppose. Anyway, game's over. Beautiful fight in that field of flowers. It is beautiful. I feel like I've cheated myself somewhat. I really did not realize the spirit camo was this useful against her. Hello, Neric. I'm sorry, we're ruining this lovely moment by beating it in skull face camouflage. <laughs> Long time no see, how you doing? I'm enjoying battle, battle block, battle, battle bit? I have played battle bit, I don't know, it didn't stick with me for very long. I think I might be a shitter who actually cares about graphics. Put on his romantic mask, we gotta do it in the rainbow camouflage with the, uh, no, the Santa uniform, it's Christmas. I really wish I didn't do this Kill fight me. in the zombie camo. Kill me now. Do it. I didn't expect it to only take like five tries, okay? I wasn't prepped for this. I do like the contrast between black and white here though. We've got the black uh, zombie man There's only room for one versus boss. the pure white one snake. dead girl. <laughs> F. All right, time to skip all the cutscenes. I'm sorry, we don't have time. I don't remember which gun it is. Right gun? F. F indeed. Very F. F's in the chat for for uh, Miss Boss. Either shot ocelot. Hey, that rhymes. Bang. Bang. Hey, we let him win. It's a blank. All right, we're done. Game over. Well done, Snake. The Migs disengaged. All right, there's one more like cutscene here. Oh shit, I skipped it. Wait, really? Did I skip? No, wait. There's there's a save and then more cutscenes. I think. I hope. I hope the last cutscene isn't just one big cutscene and I didn't just skip it all. I wanted to see it, damn it! I wanted to see specifically the bit where where Ocelot shows up at the end and goes with his fingers, you know? Here we go. Surely. Here we go. This is the cutscene. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. He's so she handsome in his uniform. Look at him. Country. He looks so good. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Everyone's so happy. I can't believe that Sigurd showed up in that musty-ass uniform. Bro, you're meeting the president and you wear that? Come on, have some respect, man. Put on a suit. That guy on the right's enthusiastic clapping is so weird. He's so into it. Come on. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Let me see the scene. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. I can't believe that's that's how it goes. That's actually how it goes. You're better than the boss, so you are now Big Boss. You are Hideo Kojima, amazing. 10 out of 10. Game of the year. Game of the century. 10 out of 10. Hello, Adam. He's still wearing his Soviet uniform. Nobody thinks this is weird. This man walked onto the White House dressed like that. Game's over. We win. We win. Um, stream lasted 30 minutes. What do I do now? It wasn't meant to be over that quickly. It was meant to be like an hour fight. I spent more time on the goddamn Fury than I did on Big Boss. End stream? I mean, I guess. Uh, what do I do now? Why is the Fury the hardest boss in the game? You are now gigantic, boss. It just gets bigger every time. You got boss, big boss, gigantic boss.
Colossal Boss, uh, Giga Boss, Omega Boss. I don't know any other. I've lost track of references besides. Omega Boss is the last boss. Congratulations, you've reached him. If you want to beat the Omega Boss, you'll have to defeat my nine evil bosses. It's too big for us even to imagine. It's like the universe, you know? It's like it's like a cosmic horror kind of thing. But... Game's over! What do I do? I wasn't supposed to beat it this quick. Ugh. Hang on, I gotta come up with a backup plan. One second. I also want to check out... No, yeah, I'll do that later. I gotta check out later how to beat the Fury in a reasonable amount of time. Just end stream? It has been 30 minutes! I can't go to sleep now! I mean, tomorrow we gotta collab. Tune in for that. Uh, I think it's 1am UCT. It's 12pm Australian time, midday. I am joining a couple of other people for some Lethal Company, that funny game that everyone's been playing. So if you want to watch me scream in a corridor while being chased by the Slender Man, tune in for that. I won't catch the start. It's okay. I hope to last a little while. We've got a few mods installed as well, so um, it should be interesting. I have humbly requested they add the mod that implements Deck Talk. You may not know what Deck Talk is by name, but you will recognize it by sound. It's it's the Moonbase Alpha voice. I asked if we could put the Moonbase Alpha voice into the game. We'll see if it works. Scott Dolph. Hans Zimmerman. I mean, Chris Zimmerman. Keiko Ono. Wasn't that uh, John Lennon's wife? <laughs> I want to try Lethal Company, actually. I got one friend so far who'd play it with me. Yeah, I mean, two-player two Lethal Company is definitely doable. Would recommend walking in together. It's kind of weird. The, the guy who stays in the ship, that is a really important role. But when you only have, like, four people, it's a really awkward number. Because the guy in the ship can only watch cameras or be on the terminal. You can't do- like, you can do both, but you can't radio and be on the terminal at the same time. So you can't communicate if you're doing anything useful. And if you are communicating, you can't do anything useful. But four players is not enough to have two people in the ship and two people in the facility. Having two people on their own in the facility is fine. But once you get four people, it's like kind of awkward because you got three in the facility. They can't split up into pairs because there's three of them. Three players is a good number because you can have two in the facility and one in the ship. And if you get rid of the limits, then it's all bets are off. It's fantastic. I love playing Lethal Company modded. I love playing it with more than like six people. It's crazy. It's beautiful. It was the way it was meant to be played. How many players can there be? Good question. The base game allows for four players maximum. By the way, I've tried to skip these credits. It won't let me. There are mods, not just one, there's several mods that allow you to increase the limit. I think the limit for the mods is like 20, possibly as high as 50. I've only played it with like 10 people at most. I think nine was the highest we got. It is a splendid time. Even if you don't have that many people to play it with, I do recommend playing it. It is a fun game. I think the exploration aspect and the different monsters is really cool. I've gotten to the point, I think, where I'm relatively familiar with all the beasts. I just hope they add more. It's a real shame because I really like the unfamiliarity of playing a game for the first time. There's nothing like it. Like going into those buildings, those decrepit, scrap filled, the 
condemned buildings. Those ruins. Entering that for the first time and not knowing what could be behind any corner. Not even knowing what possibly exists within there. It's an experience that you just can't have more than once. The levels are randomly generated. Yeah, no. So, the levels... The, the exteriors, the outside environments, are fixed. There's like four of them. So the entrance to the facility will always be in the same spot. The side entrances will always be in the same spot. Whatever. The interior of the facility, the actual maze-like tunnels of corridors and traps and monsters, that is rng It's not the maps so much that I'm... that I wish we had more of. It is absolutely enemies. I wish there were more enemies, because once you see everything once, like, you, you understand it. And that's... Uh, it's just like... I really enjoy yes, learning about enemies for the first time. It's a really cool experience. Seeing something and going, I have no idea what that is. What do I do? Somebody look it up. Help. Learning that for the first time is just something that you can't do more than once. And I hate it. It's so sad. Of course, new games come out all the time, so you do get to experience that, but it's... it's, it's like, everyone talks about playing Bloodborne for the first time again, right? You can't play Bloodborne for the first time more than once. Yes. And I just wish that wasn't the case. I wish there was some way of getting around that. Random generation can get you some of the way, but it only takes you so far, you know? Yeah, no. Um, yes, the interiors are all randomly generated, so... Be informed. Otherwise, like, you'd know where to go every time. You'd know what the best spawns are, you'd know where monsters tend to appear, etc. No, the interiors are all randomly generated. The exteriors are not, and that's good, because it makes the exterior, like, kind of a safe area, mostly, until it gets dark. But... Yes, it's me. It means that the interior is a complete, like, new experience every time. Of course, you get the used to the general mission. layouts. Like, you'll know, okay, I can go the upstairs, I can go down these stairs, this room appears in, in this structure us. always. I can explore this area most of the time, yes, that kind the of thing. Can like, finally be revived. like any RNG game, there are templates that you can see. But the it does keep things Chinese fresh. Yeah, fake. modules, exactly, that's the one. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. You know, Heavy, maybe I will raid Mitsu. Maybe so. I will. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced. My ass is out of here. You going? What's happening with Kojima? I don't know. He's just working on his own games now. Thanks for dropping by, Chuxel. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Speaking of which, I've obtained I'm glad something you did. from bye bye. that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary uh, we're listening to system. We're listening to Perhaps Ocelot come talk. Handy someday. Oh, what's happening in game? Um, we beat the final boss. Yes, now we're getting we plot that important relevations. That. Revelations? Cruise revelations. Well. Sorry, I just like burped. Yes, um, we're getting... Story. What's the word? M. Night Shyamalan twists. That's what's happening. Relatives. Relevelations. We're learning that Ocelot was a double crossing spy the whole time. Triple crossing spy. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. I like that he just says this all. Just for us. It doesn't of really course. make sense for him to I'm have this at the CIA's conversation disposal. out loud where somebody could possibly hear Mr. him. Director. But, but it is cool, and you do get that da da moment. So we, we forgive it. It's worth it. Maybelline. Hey! Peace Walker achievement! Wow, I only did it. Hang on, hang on a second. I'm screenshotting that. What's the- so 11 saves, 131, 113 continues, under 7 hours, that's the important part, right? I'm trying to remember- I'm gonna look up right now what the requirements for Foxhound are.
MGS3 Foxhound. I think it might be eight hours for Foxhound. Maybe it's six hours though. I'm gonna look up the requirements. You can't use continues, so I, I, I've ruined that. Like, you can't fail at any point. But... Foxhound, Foxhound, Foxhound. Oh, you need to do it on extreme, not e-extreme. Shit, okay. Extreme difficulty mode. I expect extreme or harder. I don't think it would penalize you for doing e-extreme. Under five hours is apparently it. Five hours. No continues. No killing anyone. No alerts. No life medicine. It's not... Five hours is not as bad as you as it sounds. We're, we're not going to get there. I'm, not, I'm certainly not doing it soon. Five hours is not quite as bad as it sounds because you have to keep in mind the playtime on the screen right there includes the 113 times I had to continue. I'll try it eventually. The, it includes the 113 continues I had to use. Keeping in mind that you're not allowed to use any continues for Foxhound, you could probably reasonably shave off two hours. Like, I could probably reasonably shave off two hours um, of, like, tracked playtime. Actual playtime would be much longer, but in terms of how much time the game tracks, it'd be a lot shorter. And also, like, how many saves? Saves is going to be the hard one. I think saves... Oh, 25 or fewer. I saved 11 times. You have to be strategic with the saves. Going for Foxhound, you'd have to know what areas are coming up and what areas are hard. So it would just be a matter of saving before the most difficult sections. So, for example, every boss fight, you'd use one save. There's like six boss fights in the game. Not too difficult. Um, some of the harder areas, I'd say like... Uh, especially some of the interior areas you would want to save in. And some of the especially annoying outdoor areas, like the bit just after you get captured and escape. That part you'd probably want to use to save on. But 25 is totally doable. And now we get New Game Plus items. It'd be interesting as well, I think... I think using... Um, New Game Plus items is allowed. So I think you can use camouflages. I'm not entirely sure. I would think that New Game Plus is permitted, which means that items like the Spirit Camo would be incredibly useful. Or even the Snake Camo, which is supposed to be really good in terms of camouflage pattern thing. But this is good. We've now beaten the game extreme, And it only took us six hours. It wasn't that long at all. To be fair, a lot of the game is cutscenes. I think I halved my playtime between my first playthrough and my second playthrough. Probably 50%. There is a lot of cutscenes in this game, and they count towards completion time. It's like a boss, a big boss. Kept you waiting, huh? Uh, I want to load up the game again just so I can see the new items and that's it. Then we will be done. It does say that you're not allowed to use special items, but I'm not exactly sure what counts. After the end of World Obviously War stuff II, like the Patriot the was split into two. And, um, and West. This marked please, the beginning please of let the me era skip. called the Cold War. Weapons like that would count, but... Oh wait, never mind. According to Silicon Era... Yay, video game journalism. The only items classified as special for this run are the EZ Gun, Jack, Stealth Camo, and the Infinity Face Paint. Everything else, including New Game Plus items, is fair game. Do you copy? That You're is in enemy incredibly strong. Actually, that guide also just pointed out something really special. You can use the Fears Camo to get through difficult areas by draining your stamina. 
and then use the ends camo after that to regen it for free from sunlight. I wish, most of all, do you know what I wish? I wish the no face paint and OD, like this splitter pattern and this OD outfit, I wish that was more useful because it just looks so good. He looks so handsome. MGS3's outfit is fantastic. But it's not very effective, and that's a shame, because I want to wear it. It looks good. He's fancy. But I need my camouflage crutch, otherwise I'll die. This is not going to be the big boss run, by the way. I just want to see the new game plus items, and then we'll finish up. You can look at the backpack. Got the We got the single action army, we got our pills and such. And... Here we go. All the face paints. Although we already have those. So all the, uh, all these unlocked stuffs that we don't get on the first time round. It is interesting how none of these are changing my camouflage index. Oh, except for grenade. Apparently grenade changed it. These do actually have an effect. Apparently rainbow is the same camouflage index as desert. That's amusing. W Snake, West Germany. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is what I need to wear when fighting the boss. This is the one. The Valentine's Day outfit. Santa. No, so most of the time we'd be wanna we'd be wanting to wear Snake. Sorry. Does the Santa one Damn, it is not terrible in terms of camouflage index. That's a bit strange. The tuxedo is very good in terms of style, but less good in terms of, you know, sneaking. It also disables your CQC for some inexplicable reason. We put on face paint and there we go. We are snaking. So this is supposed to be a good all-arounder. Oh yeah, I see how it works. Yeah, I'm on like 75 the whole time around. But yeah, that is a puzzle for next time. I don't know what to do. I've kind of beaten this game now. <laughs> I, uh, I'll have to come up with something else for next stream. Maybe Disco Elysium or something like that. I do love Disco Elysium. The problem is that quite a lot of it is very slow. There's a lot of talking. Which is not as exciting as perhaps some people want. Okay. We are done. I hope you all had a good time. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess we end the stream there. Right? Like, it's over. I beat the game. What do I do? I think we just finish up. I'm not even going to raid. It feels weird raiding after like, after like, two minutes. It was 50 minutes, but you know what I mean. It feels weird. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Lethal Company. So tune in for that. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care everyone and I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye.